Okay, so part two in our Lyra weapon physics tutorial series here is grenades. Let's have a look at what our end result is. This is a lot of fun and really easy to set up. So let's show you that here. So first we need to find our uh, grenade blueprint in Lyra. So it's inside plugins. If you can't see your plugins folder, make sure you go over to settings and enable plugin content and engine content. So inside plugins, inside shooter core content, and then weapon and grenade. And then we can open up B grenade. Inside B grenade, this is what it's going to look like when you first load it up. So you want to go uh, right into this point here, which comes under detonate, and then look for the switch has authority because we want this to spawn on the server. So we're going to take this has authority and we're going to spawn actor from class. Now we need to go create that class. So content drawer will right click blueprint class. We want this to be a field actor this time. So we'll create a field system actor. We will call this F for field underscore grenade. So with our F grenade, we'll just open that guy up. Under field system component, we are going to add a radial force. Okay, so we're going to give our radial force a much bigger radius. And now the trick to this one is object types to effect. We need to make sure that we add world static, world dynamic, uh, force strength. Uh, we need a pretty big strength, 500,000. The other trick that we're going to need to do here is to go back to our F grenade and we're going to search for life. We want to set the initial lifespan down to say 0 0.01. Otherwise it's going to apply that force over a time span. We want it applied quickly and then done. Okay, so our radial force is set to 50,000. Radius is set to 600. You can uh, tinker with those numbers for how you feel uh, is needed for your game. So we go back to our B grenade, our spawn actor. We're going to set to F grenade that we just created. And now we need a spawn transform. So we're going to have to split that struct pin. Spawn transform location is this yellow line right here. It comes from get actor location of the grenade itself. So we can branch off of this guy. If we double click on this, we can create a new little node on it and we can create a branch right off of that into our transform location. That is all we're going to have to do. So compile, save, and then we're going to run back into here. And it just works you find you'll have a lot of fun just throwing grenades around. Uh, now, nothing in Lyra comes with physics enabled on a standard map, so you're going to just simply have to create an object, uh, add physics to it. So just set it, simulate physics, adjust its mass if you wish. Uh, collision presets block all uh doesn't have to be set for the grenade physics but if you want it to work with the gun physics as well you do need to have that set that's that uh next up will be the chaos physics which is how you break stuff apart with a gun or a grenade have a good night